What we're looking at here is one of the two types of rock that we find within the heart of volcanoes like the Cumbria Vieja. It's very loose, very permeable material. The water can soak straight down through it from the surface down to this level within the volcano. And the second type of rock is this. This is a lava dike. It's very hard. It's formed by volcanic lava forcing its way up through the volcano. Once the eruption has ended, the lava in the dike solidifies and produces this very hard rock. And the important point about this rock is that it's very impermeable. The water can't penetrate it through it, it's trapped behind it. And these dikes, within the middle of each volcano, act as a series of dams. Simon Day began to wonder if it was the effect of this water on the volcano which could lead to its eventual collapse. He contacted a geologist who studies the forces that build up inside volcanoes, Derek Ellsworth. In particular, Ellsworth was interested in the effect of water pressure on volcanic collapses. This is a very simple model of how water pressures can cause uh, instability in landslides. And we have two inclined bricks. Uh, when the bricks are dry, with no water pressures acting between uh, the join in these two bricks, then just like in a stable volcanic slope, there is no movement. If water is added, however, it begins to force the two bricks apart. The pressure of the water actually lifts the top brick off the bottom. When we add water between these two bricks, if the water pressure is high enough to reduce the strength sufficiently, then the upper brick will slide off. Although water pressure is enough to push bricks apart, Ellsworth realised that water on its own couldn't collapse a volcanic island. He discovered that another element needed to be acting on the water. Heat. For when this type of volcano erupts, heat from the magma has a crucial effect. This represents what happens to groundwater in the Cumbra Vieja, trapped between the dikes, when magma rises within the upper regions of the volcano. This heated bath represents the magma within the volcano. The red water within the flask, like water within the volcano, expands as it's heated. And as the pressure within the flask increases, the only outlet for the water is in this thin tube. This represents what happens within the Cumbra Vieja. As the water trapped between the dikes is heated, expands, pressures increase drastically, ultimately causing the flanks of the volcano to collapse. It was tremendously exciting because here was a mechanism that we could use to explain how it was that these enormous masses of rock could be pushed off the side of the islands. 